in this video, I'm gonna be drawing Hellboy uh, and using watercolors to paint him. Uh, I got some new paper, uh, Tone Tan Mixed Media by Strathmore. If you follow my channel, you're probably aware of the fact that I use the Strathmore Tone Tan drawing paper for pretty much all of my drawing. Uh, it's the sketchbooks I buy and I love it. I love being able to do highlights with uh, the white color pencil, stuff like that. And so when they came out with this stuff, I was really curious to try it. I really wanted to try white or uh, watercolors and then use a gel jelly pen, a white jelly pen for my highlights. And that's actually what I did in this video. So you'll see me add the highlights with the jelly pen. So right here, I'm just using a mechanical pencil with 6H lead to do my drawing. I didn't really reference anything for this. I referenced his handgun, as you'll kind of see later uh, in this drawing process. But as far as Hellboy goes, I, I kind of looked at a few pictures, but the pose and everything like that, I just kind of threw together real quick. The point of most of this video is, was just experimenting with the paper and the watercolors. So I didn't really spend a whole lot of time on uh, getting this drawing super great. It's not really dynamic, it's just a pretty generic pose. So having said that about the pose and everything, I, I, it's something I feel like uh, if I have more time on drawings or going forward, I need to make the time. Because really, you know, I was excited to try the watercolors and stuff like that, but if I just spent a little bit more time uh, referencing some uh, maybe bodybuilders, stuff like that, to really get the extra detail in the body and get it perfect, um, I mean, it's all right the way it is, it's just not perfect. There's so many flaws, and I notice all of them, that I realize I, if I just like really focused and spent that extra half hour or whatever, um, I'd be much happier with the drawing in the end. It's just, I guess it's just me being uh, lazy. Um, so don't be like me. Spend that little extra time to get the, you know, your base drawing perfect. And yeah, so anyway, um, like let's get to the watercolor now. The, so you can see me kind of adding my base uh, layer of values. And this, I just used Alizarin Crimson, which one of the other things I would have done differently in this video is I would have laid out my colors ahead of time because I honestly just sat down and start grabbed the first red that I saw started painting. I didn't even figure out a color scheme, anything like that. I was really just uh, this, I started filming and I was like, you know, I just really want to experiment with this paper. I didn't really have a plan for uh, what the video was going to be about or anything like that. I just knew I wanted to paint, have a little fun. And so, but after doing it all, I'm like, gosh, why didn't I pick out a color scheme? Why didn't I do a better drawing uh, for him? And then adding the ink and stuff like that was just something I just did on the fly. So even that wasn't really planned. But I mean, all in all, it, was, it turned out okay. It's just one of those things where uh, drawing should take a decent amount of planning if you plan on doing a good drawing. And this drawing, <laughs> literally zero planning. I just kind of winged it i guess so anyway um so at this point of the the painting i'm actually like oh i like the way the watercolors uh laying down on the paper the paper's not warping it's nice and thick so as far as the paper's concerned you know it was it did a great job um so at this point i start adding in some uh thicker pigment so i got my first wash kind of in and this is how i do watercolors I'm sure it's not super traditional or anything like that, but it's just like how I like to use them. So I'll, I just start throwing in random watercolors, uh, experimenting with different colors over the top. And the paper was thick enough for me to do that. So it was really kind of fun. So the watercolors I'm using here are Soho Urban Artist watercolors. Uh, I got them last Christmas and I've used them a few times. I like them, they're very, um, uh, vivid colors for watercolors and one of the things I would have done differently you know because I feel like I did learn a lot doing this painting uh, I feel like I should do another Hellboy painting right after doing this one uh, and all the stuff I'd learned I could make a much better painting uh, but anyway the you know there was a cadmium red I really liked that I finally found after mixing in tons of different colors and you know there was a, a mixing that with the alizarin crimson for a cooler red for my shadows and stuff is something i would have done differently um so you know i learned a lot doing this 
Uh, and, and I had a lot of fun doing it. It's just partway through, like right about here is where I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I really wish I had planned this out a bit more. But the experimentation of it definitely prepared me to do a much better painting, you know, the next time I try this. So, uh, so I definitely learned some stuff. So one thing that I was also experimenting with was the brush pen that I'm working with right here. Uh, it just came off of Inktober and I've been using this pen a ton um, and I really wanted to try it. There's a, a artist who does uh, Lola XOXO, her name is Saya, Saya Animation on Instagram and I get her comics and stuff like that and she does a watercolor with brush pen technique for all her comics which they're all hand drawn which is super awesome she's an amazing artist and um and i hope i pronounce her name right but she you know watching her work and stuff like that inspired me to kind of try the watercolors with uh, the brush pen and i really like the way it looks i wasn't quite sure whether i want to do really thick outlines around it or not uh watercolor you tend not to want to do that because it's so free flowing and it's beautiful, uh, but having the thicker outlines and some of that br the, the black brushwork, it's kind of a nice contrast to that. So I don't know, I mean, I can see an argument for both sides um, in that, but I enjoyed it, so I'm glad I kind of did it. And I think if I did another painting, I would kind of take that same approach. So one of the, uh, other things about this painting was how I wish I had more paper to work with, more uh, more of an edge. Um, generally, I try and give myself an inch border or so, uh, and this I just didn't have the room for it. I think for watercolor paintings, I work on 11 by 14, that's what this size is. Uh, but for future stuff, I would definitely buy bigger tablets of paper uh, in the mixed media, just because I like that that little extra room. Um, and I felt like this was a pretty good size for me to work at with watercolors because you can cover a lot of area. I didn't even use big brushes or anything and I still felt pretty okay with, you know, how much time it took to cover surface areas and stuff like that. So for me, I think a little bit bigger piece of paper would have been nice. Um, so yeah, but uh, right now I'm really working with that jelly pin and on the tan paper, it just really brings out that that creature and you normally don't see white like that white highlights with watercolor and i really like the way it looked i thought it looked awesome so i would i'll definitely be doing that technique on future paintings um so stylistically i definitely liked it so right here i kind of just mess around with a little bit of background stuff uh and I, at first i was just going to leave it you know watercolor and not add any defining lines or anything to it but uh, I did use the brush pen back there to kind of just add some some formation type lines to, to give the background a little bit of structure and I actually really liked the way it helped and turned out So lastly, I just kind of took my brush pen, added in some real thick lines, kind of defined everything with it. And I feel like it, it definitely finished the, the piece off for me a little bit, uh, as much as it could have been. Uh, like I said, it, I wasn't super happy with the pose or the anatomy and everything. But overall, I, was, I had a ton of fun doing it and I can't wait to do another one. So hope you guys liked the video and uh, thanks for watching.